Welcome. Today's video may be the most important video I ever make because what we're going to do today is build uh, a biocell from scratch and it's going to be modeled more closely to the biological processes that take place in our bodies. And the goal of this video is to either provide some strong evidence that the biocell is a biological battery or if it doesn't work then we'll have some strong evidence that the biocell is not a biological battery so let's get started and we'll see how it goes so today we're going to use uh, some sunflower liquid lethicin and the difference between liquid lethicin and uh, and the granular leth lethicin that you can buy is that is the oil content. The, the granular lethicin has a, a lower oil content, maybe 15-20% uh, or so. The liquid lethicin is, and this is probably uh, like 40% oil, so unlike, uh, unlike uh, the, the battery I made with motor oil on the graphite, uh, I'm not going to have to put any oil on the positive plate this time because it's contained in the in the lecithin, lecithin. Okay, so uh, and then I have here some copper oxide that I'm going to put uh, in that too to uh, provide extra oxygen to the cell. And then we have some uh, phosphoric acid, 85%. Uh, That's the strongest you can get because uh, uh, if, if it goes stronger than that, it starts to turn into a solid, and of course you can't use a solid. And then uh, I also dug through my chemical supplies, and uh, I found some uh, dicalcium phosphate, which I'm going to mix w w on the uh, on the uh, water side of the battery uh, with the titanium dioxide, and place, and I'll use that in place of the lime. Uh, so it close, more closely models the, uh, the bone uh, physiology. And then, uh, let's see, what else am I going to put in here? And then I have to put a little bit of, uh, this is some graphite powder that you can buy. It's, it's a seed lubricant, actually, is the cheapest way to buy this stuff. And uh, you can, uh, I'm going to put a little of that in there in the lecithin to make it uh, more conductive. Titanium oxide won't work. Uh, unless it's got uh, uh, pretty good contact with some graphite. And then uh, the last thing I'm going to put in there is uh, some water. And uh, I think that's it. So we're going to start with this and mix it here in our in this little container here. some of this out of here. This is really thick stuff. But we're gonna, I don't know how much that is. A tablespoon or two. Now I, I don't I have no idea what the exact proportions of this stuff will be and the only way to find that out is a lot of detailed uh, experiments which will obviously take a lot of time and especially since I work by myself and I have no one to help me so but that's for right now we're just going to use uh, gut instinct and uh, and see what happens okay so now I got to thin this down so that's in the uh, the phosphoric acid is the electrolyte and since it's got to go in the in the in the paper too I'm going to mix some of this with the uh, probably enough to thin it down so that I can spread it easy. Give that a nice little gel. Let's lay that down there. in here get to it without getting it all over the place and put a little copper 
copper oxide in there. our zinc plate and I've sanded the surface of it to get all any uh, residue from previous experiments off of it and we're going to uh, you know, need a piece of separated paper here huh? spreading the stuff right on the on the separator paper. I think I'll just take a drop on my finger here and put it right on the cathode. of titanium dioxide and uh, dicalcium phosphate. The dicalcium phosphate is, a, is a, uh, a calcium supplement that you can take for, if you're, I, I was taking it because my bones were getting really weak. If, you're, uh, if you're, your body needs to, if you're acid, your body needs to raise your alkaline, it'll pull the calcium from your bones to do it, and that, so you, you end up with osteoporosis and all kinds of stuff. Alright, so now let's just paint some of this on here. the big test. Get my meter out here. I don't know if you can see that meter. I didn't adjust the light for this first. I have to hold it up here. Negative, positive, and we have 
one three volt. That's the same as we got with the motor oil on the uh, on the cathode. I'm going to pull it down here to the milliamps or millivolts so we can watch it climb back up after we discharge it. Hopefully it will recharge. It should. Alright, now um, what was I going to do? Oh. Just a dab of distilled water on there because I'm pretty sure it's going to be it's not wet enough. So I'm just going to lift this up and put this water here on the watery side of the battery. We've got one size water and one size oil base. Alright, now let's see what our now let's see what our voltage is. Alright. A little bit higher. One point one three three. Alright. Now let's switch over to the milliamps volt and give this baby a discharge and see what our maximum amps are going to be. Get the electrodes on the right side. There's our negative. Now watch the meter because I'm not going to hold it on there very long. I want to see what the maximum is. Ooh, so I saw 54. It jumped around a little bit. Let's do that again. 63. That's some nice amps right there. I mean, that's uh, at least 10 times higher than I was getting. Of course, now a lot of that's from the electrolytes I'm putting in there, too. But you can see that this is worth it. So now, you know, let's discharge it a little bit. And that's some nice amps. See if it's how fast it climbs back up. Oh, it's already almost back up to one volt. Nine seven. Once it gets to ninety percent or so, it starts to slow down. Let's see if I can get a little better connection here. A little pressure on it. Too. Ninety nine. So you can see it's uh, charging right up. Fine. Back to one volt already. Let's discharge it again and, and hold it down for a while. Really give it a good discharge. I want to see how fast the uh, the amps drop on it. If, if it drops nice and slow, slower the better. That means you get some good production. All right, 58, 56, and then 35. Nice. It's look at that. It's, it wants to stabilize at 35 milliamps on a dead short. I'd say that's considerably better, wouldn't you? Look at that. Still holding 32. Oh, 33. Let me see if we stick it. Look at that with more pressure on it. Look at that. I'm holding. It's holding 37. It wants to hold 30. Real nice slow discharge. That's really great right there. That's baby is cranking some. Let's see how fast it's recharging. Still climbing up, nice. Back to 0.83 volts, 4, 8, 4, 8, 5, 8, 6, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 9, 90, 92, 3. It doesn't seem to hurt the discharge at all or the recharge at all. All right, there you have it, folks. Looks to me like the biocell is a biological battery to me. What do you think? I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.